Now behind me, you'll see the massively tall 29 meter high Guy's Tower, built way back in 1395. It's one of the strongest parts of any castle, because the soldiers based right at the very top can see you guys coming from miles away. And the kind of soldiers you put right up there are going to be your archers. Now the archers, they're using either longbows or crossbows. If you're using a crossbow, then you've got to use the arrow loops. You'll see those all around me, cross-shaped gaps in the walls. So now a man with a crossbow, they can shoot you, but you're gonna struggle shooting them back. But if you have a longbow, they're a bit bigger. Instead, you need to use our crenellations. You can shoot and then duck behind the wall again before we have a time to shoot them back. So it's quite hard to kill any archers on the towers and walls. But let's say we get our army inside the courtyard of Warwick Castle. We've got through our gatehouse and barbican. Our next problem is killing all the soldiers on the towers and walls. And that's going to be tough. I'm going to show you how. Follow me. So we've now made it inside the courtyard of the castle. But our next problem is climbing up all of these stairs. There are hundreds of them. We're now tired, we've been fighting for hours, we're carrying lots of heavy armour and weapons, and now we've got to fight more soldiers. But our biggest problem is the stairs themselves. In pretty much all castles, the staircases are spiral, and they always spiral to the right-hand side. There's a good reason why. These days people are born right-handed or left-handed, but hundreds of years ago, there were no such thing as left-handed people. If you were born left-handed, that was the sign of the devil. In Latin it meant sinister, and often you'd be sent to a church where the monks and nuns would hit you with a stick. They'd force you to use your right hand instead. So, if you've got a sword like this in your right hand, and you're trying to stab round a corner, it's quite difficult. There's a piece of wall in the way. But, if you're defending the castle, it's much more simple. And I'll show you how, so follow me. So you're now charging up the stairs, and you find me, an enemy archer, protecting Warwick Castle. As I said earlier, it's hard for you to stab round this corner, because you've got your sword, your axe, or your spear in your right hand. But for me, it's much more simple. I can stab and hack and slash around the corner, and kick you all the way down the stairs. And then you take all your friends with you as well. It's going to take our army ages just to get up one tower. And it's just not one tower at the castle. There are two massive towers and you've got the gatehouse and barbican in the middle. But if you can do that, if you can take the towers and the walls, then you can defeat Warwick Castle. But why on earth are we here in the first place? So congratulations, you've now defeated Warwick Castle. But what was the point in that in the first place? Well, we're here for one thing, money. And that money doesn't come from the castle, doesn't come from gold or jewels. It comes from the people that live here. Not kings or queens, but lords and ladies. If you lived at Warwick Castle, you'd be either called the Earl of Warwick or the Countess of Warwick. They own Warwick Castle. They also own all the land around the castle. They are worth millions and millions of pounds. So if we capture the Earl and Countess of Warwick, we take them back as our prisoners. And then, when the time comes, we sell them back to their families, back to their king or queen, for ransom cost. But the Earl of Warwick and his family, they would not be here by the time we get inside their courtyard. They've run away. But not out through the main gates. There are secret ways to leave Warwick Castle, if you know where to look. They'd have snuck down a secret door, down a set of secret stairs to the back of the castle, where the river is jump on a boat and sail away. So we've spent days, perhaps weeks, even months attacking Warwick Castle. We've lost loads of soldiers and in the end we're going to make no money from this. Was it worth it? Not really. But that's one of the main reasons why Warwick Castle is still standing strong to this very day. <laughs>